how well does the DJI Avada do when it's snowing outside? In today's video, I'm gonna find out. Now I live up here at 9,000 feet or more above sea level, so typically the kind of snow I get is a dry, fluffy snow, not that wet kind that clumps together. But today, this is the wet kind that clumps together, so I am a little bit more worried than I normally would be flying in the snow. Normally, you can't make a snowball or a snowman, it just falls apart. As we know, water definitely is not good for electronics, but I think just like any of my other drones, if I keep this thing moving and we don't really stop and let it just hover in the snow and get coated in snow, we should be fine. This is a Lycus bag that I use to keep my drones in. I have a couple of them for different drones. Works great because you can move the pieces around with Velcro and there's multiple pieces. The link for this will be in the bottom in the description. If you're flying any of the DJI stuff and you need something to hold your battery and keep the wire out of the way, go over to the original Dobo site and he makes these great little holders that you can pick up from his site directly. It's coming down pretty decent. Let's uh, go ahead and get a flight in. So I'm in normal mode right now with uh, Rocksteady on, not Horizon. Usually when I'm in normal or sports, I'll fly with uh, Horizon Lock. Let's go ahead and knock this baby into manual and see what our angle is at. Let's put it up to uh, 14. Now I can see that the snow is hitting the camera. I'm going right into the snow, uh, but I got a great signal. Now let's uh, go check and see how much snow's on it. And the only snow that is on it is the stuff that fell on it that it, and the time that it took me to get out of the car to get over here. Let's talk about snow and flying your drones and these kind of conditions. After living somewhere where I get over 300 inches, give or take, of snowfall, it, the mountain's like right down the road from me, so we get a similar amount of snowfall at my house, which is just a few miles away. I can give you a few pointers about flying in snow. And the first one is it is really hard to judge how far off the ground you actually are. The DJI goggles do give you sort of an altitude, what it thinks you are off the ground, it's not always correct over snow. Similar as if you were over water or a reflective surface. It does better on snow than it does those other things. How's it going? I thought you were flying something. Yeah. I heard it. It's sort of cool getting like uh, That's pretty cool. slow motion with the snowfall, you know? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because you're watching it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. And these, this particular type of drone, you actually see it through the goggles. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Now that whole flight was done in normal mode with Horizon Steady on. A lot of the maneuvers that I was doing mimic what a regular camera drone with a gimbal looks like because of the built-in stabilization that the DJI Avada has. That was one of the features that sort of blew my mind when I first got it, something I predicted like four or five years ago was going to start coming to drones and the Avada is the first one that I'm aware of that actually has done that. There's a big white snow covered field right there. So we're gonna take the drone up and I'm gonna sort of show you how hard it is to actually judge the ground like I was talking about earlier. Don't know if we're gonna do horizon steady or if we're gonna do just the rock steady. I'm thinking maybe both. 
Snow started coming down pretty good. It's been on and off all day as we do this. I do like to fly in 60 frames a second or as far as I can get it up to with whatever drone I'm flying. This one I think only goes up to 100 frames a second. That way when we put all these clips together, which you'll see at the end of this video is a short little one, two minute clip. You can see the snow really just sort of fluctuating and it looks so much cooler in slow motion. Damn it. What mode is it in? One thing I really wish DJI would do is put a display on the main screen so you can see what mode you're in if you're in horizon steady or whatever it is. I have to stop the drone because I forget what the last setting I had it in and uh, start over. So this, we're going to just jet across the road here, get away from traffic. So you can see right here, it is really hard to tell how high off the ground I am. Like even as I come down lower, angle the camera a little, here's some little bushes. So according to the goggles, it says I'm three feet off the ground. Now, I don't know if that's true, but as I fly around right here, it is really, really hard to tell where that ground is, right? It's showing me two feet, but it's almost impossible to tell. Like until you see something in the snow like this, it's just so hard. Like when it's just white and there's nothing. Oh, that was, it said one foot right there. So uh, that, that was definitely difficult to tell. Okay, that's pretty low. I, I'm actually so low that the propellers are blowing snow up. But we don't have many just empty fields like this to really fly your drone. So you can notice like when you come over to the edge here and there's something with shadows, even that footsteps that are, are right there or that little bit of change in the snow pattern make it so much easier to tell what you're doing and how you're flying, right? Like just seeing that little ridge of snow right there to the left makes it so different. Still hard because there's not a lot of shadows in this, but uh, see, I can't tell how high I'm. The goggles are doing a pretty good job. It says I'm about a foot off the ground right there. To change the camera over, we actually have to land it, which sort of sucks. I wish I could change horizon steady in the, the modes while flying. So make sure no cars are coming. Let me jet across real quick and we're gonna land. Now I'm gonna go out there, not so low to the ground, but we're gonna put it in rock steady so that we can see the motions and everything instead of it being locked. But to do that, I had to turn the drone off, go into the settings, go down to settings, camera. We're gonna put it to uh, 2.7 at 100 frames a second. Automatically goes to rock steady in that mode. It cannot do horizon steady in that mode. So we're gonna start it, go up, and we're gonna switch to manual mode. Flying in manual mode up high or acro is good for practice. Like if you want to like practice like flips or rollies or whatever you want to call them, um, that's great. It's a great way to learn. Get up high and just practice it where you won't hit anything. But for me, I like actually flying closer to things when I'm flying in manual or acro. Not to do like a bunch of crazy stuff, but just because it, Looks cooler in my opinion. It's really hard to tell how low to the ground you are. That was sort of like the Star Wars trench. Let's see if I can do that again. Spread five, I'm going in. Trust your feeling. Use the force, Luke. Let go. Force is strong in this one. so difficult to tell really and when the snow is like falling and you're 
over snow, it's really hard to see the snow. So we see no cars are coming, so we're gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like over the road. <laughs> coming down pretty good through most of that flight. Let's see how much snow is on it now. None, absolutely none. 